This is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And let's get started on the Acronis 2020 Restore from the Cloud. Now, I have created a disc, a DVD disc for this procedure. Okay, we are in the process, and I'm going to be booting off of that now. And this, the image is already in the cloud. And just so you know, I've never done this before, so this is my first time doing this. And it's going to be pretty amazing because we're going to both learn at the same time. I'm going to fast forward here because this process is extremely slow. Now remember, you can boot off of a thumb drive as well. Once you get to this screen, you click on Recovery, Browse for Backup, and since we are in the cloud, we click on cloud, but look at all the other options you have. We have USB hard drives if you have them. You can go to this PC if it's actually the TIB file is located locally, or you can go to a network, you can connect to an FTP, you can connect to your NAS. Lots of options here. The one we're gonna be looking at is a Cronus Cloud. We double click this. And a prompt you for your username and password. Now remember, I, I told you you needed this information prior to getting to this point. So here, you type in your username and password. And you sign in. Now your restore speed is based off of your download, your top download speed. All right, we click OK. That happens to be my cloud backup. It's the workstation E2200, which is a Pentium E2200. I happen to have named it that. I click that. It should come up here, which it does. We right-click this. We hit Recover. This is so cool. Recall, re Recover whole disks and partitions because I'm restoring from a dead location. All right, so now this comes up. and we, re <laughs> we I did this back in August. So here's the 29th at 2.20 in the afternoon. That's funny. I had no idea I did it then. Now remember, I'm doing this real time with you. I've never done it before. Click Next. We highlight the disks that we want, which is the entire drive. We click Next. It'll find the drive that we need, which is this one. We click Next. Now there is stuff on here. I'm blowing it away. We hit proceed and the restore process has begun so let's see how long it will physically take and since we are using Acronis and since we are using Elgato I'm not using Elgato to record what we are viewing Okay, now at this point, I'm going to eject the disk. So it doesn't boot off of that. Okay, operation is succeeded. You can close all this, it should restart. Here we go. See what I'm saying? Elgato. Wasn't kidding you. Just using it as like a monitor. And we are now rebooting. All right, here we come, we're booting. This gets the Joe Tech Tips instant awesome rating hands down, folks. But I wanted to show you that it can be done on pretty much any machine and show you that the restore was successful. And I'm really happy. <laughs> this is amazing. This works very well. This gets the Joe Tech Tips instant awesome rating hands down.
I see 250 gig hard drive, 232 gig. So, and I did short stroke this drive for faster performance. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. If you think this video deserves a thumbs up and you think a Kronos is amazing, please comment below. I have a link in the description for incredible deal on a Kronos. Take care. Oh, 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 oh,